Welcome to Chantelle's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to brew your cold brew coffee in your Tupperware cold brew carafe. So we're going to start with our power chef system. So I have already measured out two cups of coffee beans. So the particular coffee beans I'm using right now are a hazelnut vanilla flavor. But it doesn't really matter what flavor you choose. It's kind of whatever flavor you'd like your coffee to take before you've added anything or whatever your favorite coffee is. So we're going to have that around 400 mils or around 2 cup mark on our Power Chef system. Make sure you've taken that guard off your blade. It's clicked nicely into place on the bottom. We want to make sure it clicks into place on the top as well. And then we give it a whirl. One of the really nice things about the Power Chef system is it's so much safer than cutting with your hands. You're not going to slip with your knife and it does way more with one pull. It's around 12 knife slices with just one pull. So it really simplifies that idea of cutting something and it's a lot safer definitely for your coffee beans. Alright, that should be good. So now you can remove the blade. Be nice and careful where you're setting that. We're going to remove the top off of our Tupperware cold brew carafe and then you're going to kind of just spoon in your grounds maybe with a Tupperware spatula. So there are two lines on our cold brew carafe. Those are very exciting and very important and I'll show you in just a minute. Once we get that all the way in. Beautiful grounds. Awesome. So there are two lines in here. So the first line we see on the stainless steel is about just over a third of the weight up. So this is how much coffee grounds you want to put in if you're wanting to make just straight coffee. Like you might add an ice cube or two or maybe like a tablespoon or two of milk, but that's how you're going to drink it. So you're not wanting to dilute it much because it's not going to be as strong. Or this second line, almost all the way to the top, is how much you're going to put in for a concentrate. So that means you're just needing like other recipes that I'm going to show you on the channel, you're going to need just like a quarter cup of coffee or half a cup of coffee of the coffee concentrate. So those are your two options from here downwards just for cold coffee and from all the way up here to the bottom for a coffee concentrate. So then what you do is you take your room temperature or a little bit cold water, pour it nicely over the coffee grounds. You're going to already see that color start to happen. And we add the water all the way up till it's full. So a little bit of a strange color right now. That's all good. So then what happens with this, this is our cold brew carafe. You stick that in the fridge for 8 to 12 hours, depending on how strong you like it. Um, so that can be either if you're really patient in the morning or it can be overnight. So this is how you make cold brew in your cold brew carafe. And then you have the chance to make it into whatever type of coffee you'd like or whatever kind of mixed coffee drink. So enjoy and I hope you look at my other videos to see some recipe options for our wonderful Tupperware cold brew carafe. Thanks again for joining me in Chantel's Kitchen. Bye.